What's up ladies and gentlemen, so you don't have an Android phone, however you would like to enjoy some of the applications that Android offers. First of all, you guys are going to need a pretty powerful PC in order to run Bluestacks. It does tend to lag on some older PCs, just putting that out there. So, Bluestacks is an Android emulator that allows you to play games like Clash of Clans and Run Kick and Skype and all that directly from your PC. So I'm just going to launch that real quick, right here. And as you can see, I have Kick installed and all that. I also have Clash of Clans on here, and this is how I run my channel, my second channel for Clash of Clans. And there you go, full on Android right here. So Bluestacks is pretty popular. So you ask me, do I have to pay for this? No, you actually don't. It's pretty convenient. So in order to run Bluestacks, you basically download it, and then every once in a while, probably once a week, it's going to ask you if you want to try a variety of applications. Fun fact, you don't actually have to try the applications. You simply have to download them, which it does behind the scenes automatically. And if you don't want to be bogged down with random applications every single week, then you can pay, I believe it's like $10 a month. But either way, there you go. That's how they get their money and maintain the freeness of this application. I even have Twitter right here, so it's the full-blown application. Um, the Android software itself isn't super up-to-date, but the launcher that it comes with is really ugly. What's cool is that you can go into Google Play and then customize this just like you would a normal Android. That's what's cool. So you can search Nova Launcher like I did and you should be able to download it. So I have Nova Launcher Prime on all my devices and it's how I maintain my nice simplicity over here. It's the way I like things. At the same time, you guys can set your custom wallpaper. Holding it, holding down the mouse serves as what, you would, what would happen if you were to hold it down as if it was a touch screen. Cool thing, if your PC actually has a touch screen, then it's probably really fun to use this. And let's take a look at what else you can do. Double clicking does not do anything, but you can bring down the notification menu. And web browser is a full blown web browser, just like you would find on any other device. All right, so say you have a file on your computer and you wish to take that file and place it into Bluestacks because you want to send it via Kick Messenger or some other messenger. Well, you guys can actually do that. You can simply search to import something. So let me go into here, import. And as you can see, there's a whole thing that allows you to import Windows files. So it's really convenient. All right, to prove that games actually run on this and run full-fledged and amazingly, there's Clash of Clans for you guys who actually play this game. So load that up real quick. It is in a different language. It's in uh, Norsk right now, but that's fine. And uh, I'm going to basically go over how like the game functions. So this is kind of how all the games function. Click serves as a click. Now, if you want to zoom in or out, use the arrow keys on your keyboard, just like that. And you can actually use the scroll wheel on your mouse to scroll through certain things on both web pages. So it's kind of like take your PC and then shove Android on top of it, which is basically what it's doing. And basically all the functions work as they should. You got your home button. Yes, you can multitask and it's the same as traditional Android. There's your back button. In case you don't want to use a keyboard or you simply don't have a keyboard because you're running this on maybe a Surface Pro, yes, you can still use this cool little keyboard right here. And it even gives you some of the options, settings, how you wish to have things and so on and so forth. Um, you can share. I'm not sure what exactly it shares, maybe a screenshot or something along those lines. And finally, if you want to maximize this into full screen, which I probably should have done a little bit back, you can do that as well. Exiting out, it can be a little bit complicated, but to do it correctly, I suggest going into Task Manager and ending it. You can also end it from here, exit, 